Good evening guys, Rusty Nuts here. Despite using a Leeds Magnetus mug, because mine's in the uh, sink waiting to be washed. Right, I've been set a challenge, a 40 question challenge from uh, Kiwi Clubber Kieran Hurst. I don't know what it's about, but uh, I agreed to do it anyway. So uh, without further ado, we'll crack on. So, Question one, I think this is all about getting to know you, your subscribers getting to know you. I don't know, I'm not sure, so, uh, but we'll do it anyway. So, question one, do you put ketchup on hot dogs? Oh, hell yes. Hot dog isn't a hot dog unless it's got ketchup and a little bit of mustard as well. Got to have a bit of mustard with ketchup. So, uh, question two, what's my favourite choice of soda or pop? Um, my favourite has got to be, uh, I'd say Shandy and then Coke. I'm definitely a Shandy person, always have been. Question three. Do I own a gun? <laughs> well, I own a few things you might notice behind me. I've got my little collections behind me. And uh, as of present, I don't own a gun, but I am actually in the process of buying a deactivated Bren gun, a Bren machine gun that was used in the Falkland Islands. So uh, that's going to be added to my collection. I'll show you my collection shortly, but I do have uh, lots of different hand grenades and things, all deactivated, by the way. None of them are live. So, but I'll show you that. I'll show you them at the end of the video. Um, question four: Can I swim? Yes, like a brick, but I can swim. Um, do I prefer hot dogs or cheeseburgers? Well, I do like my hot dogs, but I'm definitely a cheeseburger fan. I love them. I live on them. Cheeseburgers and pizza. Oh. What is my favourite food? Well, just mentioned that. Pizza. Absolutely love tuna and sweet corn. Pineapple does not belong on pizzas. I don't care what anybody says. But, uh, yeah, pizzas are my favourite. Do I believe in ghosts? No. Never have done, never will. I'm not a conspiracy theorist or anything like that. Um, I don't even believe in Jesus. I need proof. Uh, what do I drink in the mornings? <laughs> I'm a Yorkshireman. Well, Lincolnshireman, but I live in Yorkshire. But I was born and brought up on cups of tea. I live for cups of tea. I can't survive unless I have my cup of tea in the morning and about 20 cups of tea during the day. Can I do 100 push-ups? Um, it depends what the party's like. Ooh, ooh. If it being the exercise ones, then no chance. I'm 51 now, so uh, not a prayer. <laughs> uh, Favourite time of year? Ooh, for me, that's got to be summer. Because that's when I get my longest break from work. I do, I do love the the summer months. My favourite hobby. Well, as you all know, I'm uh, mad on magnet fishing. I do like my magnet fishing, but I'm also uh, a boat fanatic. I was born and brought up on water. Love all things water sport. Um, anything with an engine, really. Uh, love me cars, me classic American cars. I'm big into me Americana stuff. And uh, I've uh, started collecting me World War II memorabilia as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting into my World War I and II history. Do I have tattoos? Yes, I've got a few. Uh, I might come across as quiet or Mr. Nice Guy, I don't know, but uh, I got my first tattoo when I was 13 years old. <laughs> and I had to hide it from my parents because they uh, absolutely despised tattoos. I was the first out of uh, all my family to get a tattoo. And because of the water sports, I always used to have to go water skiing or whatever with a t-shirt on to cover my tattoo. Do I wear glasses? No, I don't think I do. Oh, hang on, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> I have done for a few years now. Uh, <clears throat> do I have a phobia? 
Not a fan of spiders. Hate spiders. They just seem to like to bite me. Um, I don't mind snakes. I love snakes. I've had one or two in my past as well. Um, hate shopping trolleys, if that counts as a phobia. I'm forever pulling them up. Do I have a nickname? Well, I was always known as uh, Foz or Fozzy Bear through school. Um, but because my last name's Forrest, I do have a nickname and it's Sherwood. And it has been Sherwood for a few years now, so... My three, sorry if I can speak, three favourite drinks. Well, cup of tea. That's my favourite. Comes before everything. Uh, I do like a uh, brandy and coke in the evening. And like I say, shandy. Do I like blue cheese? Oh, hell no. I'm a massive, massive cheese fanatic. I love my cheese on everything. Um, one of my favourite foods is uh, fried uh, cheese toasties with fried eggs on top. But I don't like blue cheese, now. My favourite's Edam. Rain or snow, which is my favourite? <coughs> it's got to be snow. I love snow. Me and my daughter's had many... Uh, uh, fun year playing in the snow so can I change a tyre yes I can like I say I was born and brought up with petrol in my veins so uh, yeah that's not a problem my favourite flower hmm I think my favourite flower I don't really have one as such but it would have to be uh, white lilies for my mum because my mum always liked white lilies. Can I drive a manual gearbox car or stick shift as the Americans say? Yes, I can. I've done for years. I learned to drive when I was about 13 because we used to do banger racing and stock car racing as well. So uh, driving stick or manual has never been a problem. Ever gone skydiving? <coughs> no. I don't mind heights. I uh, spent quite a large proportion of my working life working as a steeple jack and a steel erector, so heights don't bother me, but I've just never gotten around to uh, skydiving. I have done charity ab sales down tall buildings. Kids. I've got one 15 year old daughter, Ashleen. So uh, she's my only daughter. I did lose a child when I was younger, but. Uh, we don't need to go into that. My favourite colour. Got to be Rusty Nuts Red. Am I employed? Yes, I am employed. I've been in this particular, um, well, on this particular site for the last three years, but I work in the education sector. I'm a premises manager and I've been doing this job for 17 years now. Can I whistle? <laughs> yes and no. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. I can that time. And the dogs just turned up. <laughs> I wasn't whistling you, Peanut. Favourite holiday destination or favourite holiday? I've had a few. Uh, I am partial to Fortaventura. I do like it there. Um... I think one of my most favourite places to go to would be uh, Cornwall. Absolutely love Cornwall. I used to go to St. Times every year. Siblings. Do I have siblings? Crikey. I come from a very large family. I have... Hang on, I've got to count them because we're that, we're that large now. I think there's nine brothers and... Uh, hang on. Gary, Sibling, Felix. Seven sons, two daughters, well, one, seven sons, one daughter, one half-sister. Surgeries. Have I ever had any surgeries? Um, Not being operated on as such, but I did have an accident uh, a few years ago where I stuck a screwdriver in this eye and I ended up having to drive myself to the hospital with a great big screwdriver stuck out of my eye and they uh, had to pop the eyelid out, uh, the eye, eyeball out. 
<coughs> to uh, put some funny stitches on the inside of my eye socket and then popped it back. That wasn't very nice. So, but that's about as close as I've come to ever being operated on. Shower or bath? I like both, but I prefer a shower. I like to uh, have a soak every now and again when my back's playing up, but uh, I do prefer a shower. Last song I heard. Oh, crikey, it's up here, actually. Let's have a look. <sighs> I do like my reggae. I like all kinds of music. But the last song I heard was I Can See Clearly Now by Johnny Nash. Got to love a bit of reggae. Uh, broken bones. Have I had, ever had any broken bones? Oh my God, I've had loads. I broke this wrist five times. Uh, I broke every toe on my right foot uh, all at the same time. Uh, ribs. I broke more ribs than anything. I, th I broke five down this side in one go, but I think I've broke nine ribs altogether. Uh, I've had a broken jaw. Uh, I've had a fracture above my eye socket. Uh, broke a finger. So yeah, I've had a few. How many TVs are there in my house? Not many, because I'm not a huge uh, TV fan. I tend to have the TV on just for a bit of background noise, because uh, most of the week I live on my own. I have my daughter here on Fridays till Monday, so uh, like I say, mostly it's me. So I've got, uh, there's only two. One in the front room and one in my daughter's um studio as we call it <coughs> my daughter's a big tiktok fan so uh, she's got her own little uh, studio at the back worst pain i've ever gone through uh well the worst pain was losing my mum last year to um cancer that was quite a traumatic uh pain for me but um with regards to physical pain, I'd say uh, breaking the five toes on my right foot. Um, for something insignificant like toes, my God, they hurt like hell when you break them. Do I like to sing? <laughs> I sing regularly when I'm cooking for my daughter, but I do it just to wind her up because she hates me singing. I've, I've not got the best voice in the world, so... Uh, I do it just to embarrass her because nine out of ten times she's down the corridor doing a TikTok and she can hear me in the background singing. Uh, is my mum alive? No. Like I said earlier, I lost my mum uh, <coughs> late last year, so uh, no. Three things I did today. Well... Uh, I had to uh, have my car MOT'd, so that went in to be done. Um, walked my dog, Peanut, even though the weather's been atrocious today. And uh, because of the weather, I've not really done a lot, so it's just tidying, uh, catching up on laundry and things like that. Favourite TV programmes? Well... Being a treasure hunter, I love um, programmes like Go uh, Gold Hunters, uh, Ice Cold Gold, um, Gold Divers Under the Ice and things like that. Um, I love any, any kind of um, treasure hunting type programmes on the Discovery Channels and things like that. But I do also like my history as well. <coughs> um, I'm into this hunt... Uh, Hunting Hitler, I think it was, or something like that, where they're tracing uh, the last known, uh, or the last um, whereabouts of Hitler. They believe he escaped instead of dying after the war. So I'm, I'm into all of that sort of thing as well. So, uh, Pumpkin or pecan? Ooh, don't like either. Hate them with a passion. And finally, question 40. Someone who will play along. So I've got to nominate three people myself to for this to go to. So uh, I think the three I'll name will be uh, my good friends at 
Leeds Magnetas, got to be Billy, Craig and Andy. I know Craig will be up for it, he loves this sort of thing. So Billy, Craig and Andy, all three of you are nominated for this 40 question challenge. Uh, if you personal message me, I'll send you uh, a copy of the um, questions. So, to end the uh, video, if you just bear with me, I'll just come and get the camera. That's actually uh, uh, a World War II US helmet. That's actually a donation going to the um, Manchester Magnet Men. Along with, oh, excuse my hand. Along with that shell casing, they've been donated to the Manchester Magnet Men uh, as part of their raffle. So they've been kindly donated by the Peaky Dippers, but I'll show you some of my things anyway. I've got, uh, I don't know if you can see them properly there. I've got two uh, German helmets there on the outside edges. One's an M35 and one's an M45. One of them uh, came from the Ardennes Forest and one of them actually came from Normandy. And the one in the middle is a World War I British Zuckerman, uh, World War II, sorry, British Zuckerman helmet. And that came out of a canal in Shipley. And that, that was actually found by uh, Bradford magnet man, Nick Lee. And we did a little exchange. I, I got this and uh, he got one of my uh, old finds. So then we come down to this shelf here and you'll see I've got a collection. I've got <coughs> World War I British egg grenade, still with the fuse intact. These are inert by the way. So don't go panicking about that. That doesn't look like much, but that's actually a grenade as well. Although it's a hollow tube completely inert. It is actually a grenade. This one is Polish. I don't know if you can see. Still got the fuse. It's actually quite a modern one, this one. So that's that one. And then at the back there, you can see one of my plaques done by one of my subscribers, the lovely uh, Tracy Willis. So then we'll come down to the next shelf. And yes, I do like my model cars as well. Got my lovely gift here. Absolutely amazing gift from the Peaky Dippers, Glenn and Marie. I don't know if you can see, but it is inscribed as well. It's hard to show up on camera. They had it engraved for me. So then we've got another grenade. This one's a training grenade. So... And then at the back there, got some of my finds. The World War One clasp knife there. I've actually had a couple of them, but that's the best one that I got. I got a cannonball there. That was kindly given to me by uh, Metals to Magnets, Tony Shercliffe. I've uh, got a few bullets. Uh, musket shot that I found. I've got, I don't know if you can see behind the ring there. The small thing here is actually a World War I army tunic button. And then here, I'll bring this out. This was done by Billy, my great, my good friend, Leeds Magnetus. He uh, hand engraved it. So then we come down the next shelf. Uh, where are we? Over here. Nick Lee will know that one. Hey, <laughs> love that thing. Uh, and then down here, we've got another plaque from Tracy and a couple more little things from Tracy Willis. This is an RPG. It's uh, known as a hollow shot grenade or a rocket propelled grenade, but this one is actually a hollow shot. It is a genuine one, but it's a DIAC, so there's no issues. And this one is actually the one that is 
being raffled or auctioned or whatever, I don't know at the moment, by the Manchester Magnet Men because I've donated this one um, to help raise funds for Jason's daughter, little Princess Madison. So I'm actually uh, giving up another one of my prize collection. And then I'll lift these ones up because it gets a bit dark down here. But we've got a couple of rifle grenades. These are World War I rifle grenades and they call them rifle grenades because the stick, this bit, goes down the barrel of a gun and they're shot out of a gun because they can get greater range. So I've got that one and I've got the Mills one as well. These are quite hard to come by because the sticks, these are almost always missing. So uh, not easy to come by these. Totally inert. So, and then right at the very bottom, in the dark at the moment, because I've got to get a new cabinet. Um, well, I'll, I'll lift it out. I've got remains of a gas mask. And another magnet fishing find that was donated to me by a great friend in Birmingham who found five of these and I believe these were actually used in a jewellery robbery. So, there we go. I do have a lot of items donated or swapped or given to me and I don't always have room on this cabinet so I am in the process of looking for another cabinet. Sorry, excuse my hand. But, uh, yeah, that's it. So, hope you enjoyed this. Got to know a little bit more about Rusty Nuts. Leeds Magnetors, you've been nominated. So, uh, thank you for watching. See you soon.